and with the intro cutscene done, I will break my actual voice silence, even though you can hear me clicking and typing and all that shit. But as we can see, I do not have any save files because I, when I was converting everything from my PSP memory stick, the um, version of the custom firmware I have actually fucks with the save files for this game. I really wish I could convert them because I want to show my endgame file where I've got everything maxed out, but I can't. Unless we have someone that I can send the files to to uh, send them back the right way. But at any rate, we have, just like the Final Fantasy 1, we have English, Kana, and Kanji options. We will be going in English, obviously. We won't be changing any of the names. Even though I really don't like you calling him Guy, I've gotten so used to calling him Gus from the Game Boy Advance version. And we don't see him till the fucking end. Uh, that was the uh, PlayStation version. This is the 20th anniversary on PSP. A long lived peace. Is that an end? Oh, it sounds fucked up. I don't know what I did wrong with the settings. The Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld. He has begun a campaign for world conquest. A rebel army arose from the Kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's plans. But the rebel's castle fell to an all out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing from the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. And here we go! The Black Knights of the Empire! You are supposed to lose this fight. However, there is a thing that happens with the case that you win. And it seems to be different in every version. I wish I could show it off, but I don't have anything prepared right now. So, I guess we're just gonna have to eat the boss. This is a little loud. I don't know how you guys are on your end. But yeah, we're basically fucked. I actually had, I was looking up this for when I was editing my uh, Total Party Kill video for Emerald back with um, Moss Deep Jim. And some jackass is like, I never heard this song. I'm like, then you never actually fucking played this game. Because you're supposed to hear it at least once. Always the Emerald. And Leon is mysteriously missing. Yes, this is a PPSSPP emulator. Uh, one of the older versions, because I tried to use one of the newer ones, and it doesn't work. Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within it. You should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on an escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. I don't know if I want to read the text like this. His life is not in Yeah. I think I'll just leave it up. I need to do something with the text being. Uh, 
uh, I can't actually get FF4 complete to run. It, um, just looks like shit, and it's like the layers don't work right. So, I think when it comes time to do Final Fantasy IV on the stream, I might do the Game Boy Advance version. Final Fantasy IV released on toilets now. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can find a version of the end of the <laughs> happy when the uh, Final Fantasy 14 guys decided to change the uh, the rules on how their fucking veteran reward system worked because they gave me the Wild Rose set which is what Furion's wearing whoa that was weird and that is now my warrior glamour oops <laughs> I'm wasting the time using the password he blow the information that we bring you Listening. After one more bit of advice before you depart the film, those who have fallen in battle can be revived in the sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. First of all, let's put default dash on. Memory will speed all the way up. Portraits on. Before the stream starts, when it requires you to be in game. There we go. Alright, well, I guess I should go over stats. If you look, you can see. Oh, shit. Okay. Seems to set it on to 10. Fearing is your middle of the road. I would have to relearn how to do wads on the Wii. I mean, I do have my Wii. It's, I can do that. All right. You can see that Maria is set up a little bit more for black magic. Uh, like I said, Furion is your middle-of-the-road guy. You can do anything. And Guy is very much your tank. Like, even from just looking at his starting HP. Um, as you can see, everything's level 1. You have 70% accuracy with the broadsword. You're gonna want to keep Axe... Alright. Keep their main hand 
the way that it is. And you should probably keep a, a shield in your left hand for the defense. Yes, you can equip two weapons for additional attack power. But it, I feel it's way too diminished to be actually any use. And the extra defense is always nice. Uh, Maria starts with a bow. I might kick her to the front and give her a short hand, a short range weapon and a shield. Although, you know, her HP st still will grow given a new uh, system in this game where every six or so fights, your HP will grow, which is uh, directly, you know, point for point your stamina. Yeah. But, uh, there's quite a bit to actually go into here. I have no idea what it is. Uh, I might have to look into the sound settings for next time. Really wish I had an answer. But, um, basic stats, you know, strength go is the power of your off your uh, physical attacks. Spirit is your white magic strength. Intelligence is your black magic strength. They go up, they raise as you use them, just like your actual levels. Like if I, if I tell him to attack, his axe level will grow. Um, stamina, like I said, is point for point. Whenever it says person's HP increased, then their stamina gets added to their HP, but they don't get it added to their current. So keep that in mind. Agility affects how uh, the turn order goes, and magic is basically stamina for your MP. Which will, unlike your HP, your MP doesn't grow on its own. graphics. Um, yeah, world map's fine. I might not be able to stream this tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do instead. Well, what we just saw there was uh, Venom status, which will, uh... oh, there you go, Maria's strength increased. Yeah, it's fine until we uh, hit that. Oh, that's weird. find it's better to give it to Ricard when he dies, so that he can take it into solar and birth with him. I think I might just have to come back to this because I have no idea what else to play. Well, well I, I'm gonna have to f fucking figure out what's going on with these graphics. Because the, 
the stream graphics just yeah yeah I'm sorry guys I just I don't think this is gonna work Final Fantasy 2 at least uh, it is on the docket I want to do it but I don't think I can what happens that's gonna have to do do a, a frame skip on it and it still chirps a little bit but it's workable but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to oh shit I don't have magic Shit, he's still rolling high. There we go. I'm gonna probably give her a knife. Though there's not many knives, there's not many stakes. Honestly, I think I just want to give them all broadswords. Because he did one fight without a shield, his shield skills are lagging a little bit. But what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to head north. Yeah, she's doing a hell of a lot more damage. More damage than Fury, and at least if she rolled high. Occasionally, you, oh yeah, and your uh, your buckler, your shield skill is a little bit different from a normal weapon skill, where you, know, you only raise it if you, know, you get hit, much like your HP. Amnesia Toads. Well, Stone stays after combat. These are basically just curable with a spell called Bossing. Cottage. That item is going to be very good for grinding later on. Just want to say that now. Decent stuff here. Nothing we can afford yet, though keeping a stock of potions is not going to be a very bad idea. This is the uh, sanctuary that Minwu was talking about. Let's see, what do they have in the armor shop? Might want to invest in that for her. But it'll be okay for her. Was that three hits? Shouldn't have been. No, it's two. So she okay. I guess I should explain how a lot of this works. Alright, you can see the attack. That's, you know, the combined strength of your main hand and your off hand, you know, how it affects it. 
accuracy, you'll see that it's now 2 of 70. That means I have 2 attacks with my weapon with a 70% accuracy per hit. So, you know, basically what it does is it, for Fury and Sword, it rolls 2d20 on, say, uh, okay, I'm having a brain fart here, on a 4 or above, he'll hit on that roll. Defense is, of course, the combined defense capacity of your armor. Uh, it cannot, though it can reach 100. So, you know, though eventually at level 16 you actually do get more attacks per turn. Um, evasion is its own stat based on uh, how many times you've gotten hit. But guys, you can see it rolls once for evasion on a 14% chance you'll avoid damage. And same way with magic defense. And those typically only grow as you take damage from those sources. And shields typically help with your evasion. And your shield level will affect your evasion score. And it really depends based on the level of the shield you have. Like the bucklers we have are kind of shitty. I guess that would have been a good opportunity to show what happens when you have three rows of enemies. But well, I did. But basically, what it is when there's a formation like this, you can only attack the two frontmost players. So if you got, but the caveat being those back two rows can't hit you either. So it's a bit of a give and take. Because it's the same deal. It's like, unless they've got a ranged attack... Oh, there we go. HP. Since Furion's got 10 stamina, his HP went from 30 to 40. Since Maria's only got 5, she went from 20 to 25. And then Guy just fucking explodes. Especially, you know, since he takes a ton of hits. I guess this is a bad example because, you know, Maria and Furion have taken a bunch of heavy hits so far. But the general idea here is, you know, there's soldiers everywhere. And just to... Wait, I, I can't save? I see. Alright. Let's do a save state then. This is gonna kill me. If you talk to him, you fight a captain. But he's gonna murder our faces. This is why we want the shield skill. Though there is a point, there will come a point where we will be able to fight back from them. But, uh, that's not gonna happen. I really wish I'd have bought a photo furniture. Because I'm in bad shape. This here is Sid's house, and later on, we're going to meet him, and uh, you see nothing out of the ordinary. Well, uh, I'm inspecting the other walls. There's a hidden door there. But where we're g All right, that's one of the shops right there. Uh, there's nothing in here, of course, because the town's been evacuated. Can't even get into the item shop right now. Push that guy out of the way. 
Fucking T is, um, tells us Symphonia, isn't it? But what we have to do is we have to come around the outside of the town, ignore all of the guards. And I realized I was advancing through that text really fast. Oh, yeah, FF7 said. Fucking tea. Okay. Oh, two potions. Very nice. Oh, three potions. That'll save our asses. Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? You said the decent to kill me first. I don't want them to take me alive. Whoops. So, you're a rebel soldier, are you? My name is Scott. Thing. He dies and his body disappears. Well, I was basically whispering that. I mean, is my normal talking voice low? Probably use a potion on Fury at the very least. We got a mission accomplished here in Finn, so we're done here for the time being. Okay, good. Fearing got attacked, so gave him agility. Uh, if I'm. I think your agility plays into your evasion a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, how much money do I have? 300. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. But that's just a quirk of having to deal with an emulator. I mean, my PSP is basically brick, so. No, when I used the potion, the screen faded a little bit. Like, I had a bit of a uh, fade to. To black. Uh, does Katria have a magic shop? I don't think it does. It doesn't. There 
There is one in Finn, though. And something I'd like you to notice is the world map is Pangeal. It's like there's only like one or two places you can't reach by water. And that will play into something we're going to do here in a bit. Uh, I'm willing to bet that we're probably going to start lagging again when we get to fit, uh, back down here to up uh, there. And she whiffed. I think I can get one black man to film. Sure. I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of magic to die. Though I do want to give uh, at least fire to Maria. Right off the bat. I'd like to get all three Fire, Thunder, Blizzard, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh shit, speaking of equipment, yeah, I need to buy a leather armor for Maria. No, that seems fine now. Uh, okay, yeah. Leather armor's not here. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's weird. I don't know what's going on there. But, oh! Okay, it's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. So I can buy all, all of these, so... No, I didn't want a fucking A! God damn it, I bought two Thunder Tombs. So, what I'm going to do is... Teach Fury and Cure. Teach Maria Fire. And thunder, and since I'm going to make... Uh, yeah, let's make him somewhat of a red mage, I suppose. Uh, let's not worry about money grinding right now. Though I think what I want to do is turn Cursor Memory. There's something about the uh, streams in this area. His intelligence and spirit can grow. Everyone can do everything. But let's show her the way. Give three and four. useful, really. I mean, there's just the main black spells and Asuna, really. I charged Yosef, a man living in Salamon, the task of finding the source. Also, the uh, person that you talk to with, well, in Final Fantasy IX, the story with uh, Rama that you got to piece together is the story of this game, the, the trio that we're playing, meeting Yosef.
the canoe's gonna be useful. We need that to get to the cave. Now let's look at this fucker. He is a little on the oh yeah, his magic's a little on the insane side. Everything he uses here will most likely level up. It's a shame we can't oh play yeah, we can restores HP. Bustin is useless. Barrier's alright. Protect is a useful spell. Wall is not terribly useful, nor silence, fog, or fear. Life's kinda good, especially at level 7. It brings you back to... I wouldn't say... 15% HP? Essen is great. Blink is amazing. Shell is good. Dispel? Eh. Sap is kinda useful. Swap. We're gonna be using that to grind. Uh, fear does not, I believe. And teleport is nice. It's just, it's a major drain on your HP as well. So, you wanna be careful with that. Because, uh, actually, no, I can't use it because it's, I'm not in the dungeon technically. But yeah, Minwoo is fucking crazy. Uh, it works specifically in the NES version. Alright, you'll see that I, that it cost me 12. Well, I'm missing 10, 26... Yeah, I'm missing 50 HP from the party. And it costs you one-fourth of the HP you're missing, plus the total MP you're missing. So actually, if I cast... Here's seven here. That'll bring all my HP up. And it'll only cost me seven. So that's one thing you're going to want to keep in mind. I actually probably could have saved most of my money by using Furion's Cure. Given how little I needed. Oh, you know how I said the cottage is going to be great? Well, there's going to be a point where the price at the inn is going to be more than 2000 And a cottage is a 100% heal to HP and MP. So, yeah. And there's definitely a way that we can get all the way to 9999 9 HP, 999 MP. And if you buy the night at the end, eh, it's a little expensive. Oh, hey. I'm pretty sure you heard that, but there was the airship going overhead. If you cross paths with it, you are guaranteed to get into a random account. Dud battle. Here in Paloon. Okay, I actually expected Paloon to uh, lag us to shit. And I think all of the item shops are the same. Oh! We're getting lag inside now. That's weird. I think there's a magic shop in are nice, but there's not many of them. Uh, the, it's not really worth it to upgrade Minwoo's gear until he's just about ready to leave the party. We're definitely going to want the bronze shields. So let's see, we need Let's say 2,000 gold, which we do not have right now, not even close. Uh, blink protection, oh, we're definitely going to want these three domes. So let's, let's call it 3,000 for now. 
And yeah. Uh, you can buy passage to the next town with the ship, but oh, staff level increase. It's not bad. But frankly, I prefer to walk because you, like I said, you can get everywhere. That was a nice crit, guys. Holy shit. 50 gil. I actually want to go back to Altair. Pick up that blizzard thing. I should actually probably start leveling up. same time, if I do, it's going to start getting expensive. Oh, Goblin Guards, love this. These guys are not as good as I thought they were. But they do have a ranged attack. So they can hit from their back row to your back row. Yeah, I did. Uh, you can occasionally see Sid's airship flying overhead. And the way that is programmed is when you see it, there's guaranteed going to be a random encounter in the next couple steps. So, I mean, I don't understand it, but that's apparently a mechanic of the game. Let's go ahead and buy that wizard to Oh, wow. Money's good right now. Uh, something to note about the magic is if you have a tome in your inventory, you can just outright use it and cast a single shot version of a spell. Typically in a middling level, like I think if you use a Fire Thunder or Blizzard tome, it will spread cast uh, level 8 of the spell. Which, something neat to note is uh, when you spread cast a spell, it multiplies the base power by one and a half, and then splits that damage based on the number of targets it hits. So actually, if you got a single target, you will do more damage if you spread cast. Oh, thank you, Squid. With one, okay, this must be an auto host, I'm guessing. But thank you anyway. Spread cast. That... Wow, enough for two kills. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Uh, well, how was your stream? I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sprinter. These guys are. <laughs> well, you asked people that when, when we uh, decided to fuck with our auto hosts and just do that to you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I should probably do that. Ow! But yeah, you see that 31? That would have been far less if I hadn't uh, spread cast that. But yeah, the, uh, the trip would have cost me a pretty penny. At least a pretty penny compared to, you know, the amount of guild that I don't have. Ooh, 110, that's glorious. Let's go ahead and use Fury and Spear. That wasn't bad. And that gave us about 16% toward the level. Oh, soldiers, the, this guy's gonna suck. 
Um, let's play Cast the Thunder on him. You know what? Let's hit him with two. actually expect to kill him in one turn. And I got a potion from him. Damn. I am okay with this. Yeah, I figured I was gonna leave the one leg here. It's like one eight two, I think. Wow. Huge magic defense difference between a soldier and a leg eater. But yeah, this is the town you go to. Oh, hey, you even have a Sid's airship here. To Pulft. The ship's already left for Pulum. Uh, yeah, I know. And here's our buddy Sid. He's wondering about the airship. And he's asking about it. Hey, the guy behind. Cement Falls is where we're going, but that's pricey. We might as well just fucking walk. Yeah, he basically price gouges you, but eventually we do uh, get to keep the airship. But that's not until later, and I'm not going to go into detail. Um. the cup of is now? Just because they're cheap and I can use them. Uh, can I buy a new sword here? I cannot. Oh, that was the edge of town. Whoops. There's a magic shop here. Emphasis on think. There should be a magic shop. Yeah, there it is. What spells do we have here? Same spells that I was gushing over earlier, but we can't buy yet because they're expensive. But yeah, there's a couple of queries. Should uh, help us out a little bit. And assuming that. That's still a lot of damage. Considering who it's coming from. And I've got to say, there's one good thing about the way the in prices work in this game is it doesn't matter where you go, your end price will be the same, just based on what you're missing. Wow, 23 damage? 20 damage? Yeah, as you can see, before we were doing, like, into 30s with our spells. Hey, Guy's Thunder's now level 2, which means it now costs him 2 MP to cast it. Which... Until he gets a couple magic levels, well, MP levels increase. Uh, we're... Hmm. Teleport's nice. Warp teleport costs you HP. Sap's not bad. Life is definitely going to be a spell we need. But it's one of those spells that's really hard to level up. Like the fact that Meanwhile has a level 7 in it is... Fucking crazy. Ooh. 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 I know I said I wanted armor, but goddamn. I cannot pass that up. Uh Hey! It's good to see you, Joma. How you doing, buddy? 
I am saying that right, right? And we don't really need... Oh, uh, we probably should have kept that. Shit. Oh, well. As long as we, uh... Oh, shit, I can't buy one from Maria yet. DJ Jomon. Alrighty. Good to know. Bronze. Alrighty. Or DJ. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Whichever you want to go by. I can do either. But, uh... Oh! Alright, yeah. Well, there we go. See, I can't target the back row. If I still had Maria's bow equipped, you could do that, but you could also do a magic spell. And now that I killed the front row one, the entire enemy crew can attack me. Or I can just you know, melt their face. Like so. Ooh, Gus magic increased. Nice. Yeah, I I don't know how to fix the sound, dude. If I could, if I knew what I, what to do, I would do it. But yeah, and I actually wish I knew why I can't save. some reason it just won't let me save this game. Which means I probably won't be able to do Soul of Rebirth. I don't think I do. Let's uh, try to keep her magic well rounded. I really shouldn't do that. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh, nice. My first MP increase. Beautiful. And... Oh, okay. This is useful if we want to do things based on keywords to get, like, ultimate weapons and stuff, which honestly is ultimate, if I can be completely honest with you. Stretch experience. Wow! I wasn't expecting a 56 Thunder coming off of her. But yeah, the spread casting is broken. <laughs> Let's get the Blizzard up. That's an interesting effect considering how that's a base level spell. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should go back and buy that battle axe and the longsword. Oh, missed the goblin. That's weird. I don't expect this to do a whole hell of a lot of damage for six targets. Actually, I well this. Way more than I was anticipating. Nemo's HP went up. Not bad. Uh, I definitely want the weapons right now. be a bad idea, honestly. I might be able to swing it with... No, I can't. I'll 
get enough money for that. up on Steam so that we can uh, tinker with this because uh, I really don't want to do it while I'm live, to be completely honest with you. Woo! I was not expecting him to kill the entire group. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> I did not expect that from the guy. Pieces. The body does usually provide the most defense. I really ought to recover my MP. Wouldn't be a bad idea, at least. And I am never gonna get a fucking cure spell off the Furion, am I? Wow, 250 gil. Not expect that. Yeah, I'll take twenty one over like the fifty that it was. squishiest on the team. Magic once I can move. Okay, good. Ooh, another MP. Why is Guy turning into my mage? Seriously, he's turning into my fucking mage. And all he's using is thunder. Though, now that he's thunder level 3, I really need to conserve his MP. 
stupid as it sounds, the enemy at the end of the mine will kick our ass otherwise. Uh, who's, is anyone missing any HP? No. I'll spend the 11 to get my MP back. Honestly, didn't expect to do that much damage to him that quickly. It'll be okay if I let these guys attack me. I'm not exactly capable of hurting. Plus, I've been neglecting my weapon skills recently. Plenty of money. What am I up to now? 350? Ooh, Sasquatch. Guys need glasses. Why are they not hitting us? <laughs> okay then. Why are they not hitting us? Blocked. <laughs> That's great. Maria is not even the one that blocked. Pretty hefty hit the Mindu of all people. And that guy's not carrying any money. This crystal is going to be important later. Just wanted to say that. And we're going to try to be going over every path in this dungeon. Mainly because I don't remember a whole hell of a lot. Gil, that's nice. Really want to conserve my MP. Frankly. Avoid using any spells and I absolutely have to. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I should probably buy a fire tome for one of the guys. No, nope, don't want to go down there yet. I just want to mention that I haven't touched his gear. Oh, balloons. Oh, I might have to cast some magic here. Never mind. was fire too. Oh, thank you. Now she gets an MP increase. 
200 gil. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up with that uh, amount of money that I was looking for. Take off the little guys first. Probably should have had Minwu attack one of the goblins instead. Or it can just totally not matter. stamina increase at all. Worthless eye drops, because those are going to be bossing up. Ooh. Hefty damage. Though I want him to take that damage so that his HP increases. Never mind. Maybe his HP will increase. A 19 crit? Damn. That potion, that's not horrible. And meet one of the poor design design choices of this game. Let's inflate the difficulty by making the areas with treasure and sometimes the past passage forward in the dungeon be this shit. Some of these rooms are a guaranteed fucking encounter every step. And as we saw, far left there. But there's more shit on this floor for us to look for. Another MP increase. Shame we're gonna have to start having uh I need I need him to start casting magic. Oh now he gets a fucking spell now. Because if his cure spell keeps going up in a level, which it hasn't yet. Ooh! Okay, his spirit went up. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, I grabbed that. That was the eye drop. Oh, I don't want to defend. more for the guy. I mean, he only healed himself for 36, didn't he? Oh! Was that this... Was that one point of spirit doing that? Holy shit! No! So 
I don't understand. I'm just getting really garbage rolls. Okay, good. Uh, it's on a, uh, a, a secondary disc. Why? Does that matter? No? It's not in a read only location. start getting really annoying. Where are my mutation stats at now? Because I'm dodging an awful lot of attacks. Right where they were. Yeah, ambush rooms. It's not enough that it's Getting into battles every. Oh, hey, another HP up. Nice. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let's cast the spread here. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Oh, that's kind of shitty. I was about to say, 100 damage on two hits? Then, I, then I'm like, oh yeah, screen flashed white, that was a crit. Never underestimate a shield. Shields are great. Ooh, Minwoo's HP went up. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That's too careful, Bob. Oh, hey! That's the dark. Oh, yeah, because level 3 turns into the uh, second level spell. Level. Eight turns it into Aga, and level ten into Aja, if I'm not mistaken. Which I probably am. And some spells actually don't look as good after you level them up. Ultima is one of those spells that just looks like shit when you level it up. Yes, you do get ultimate in this spell, in this game. It's an offensive spell, 
that is white magic. Oh, hey. That's actually bad forward. 250. Nice. something about my MP, but ethers are expensive. It's about time someone did some fucking damage. And keep in mind, Maria has the highest defense on the team. Because she's the squishiest. Has she seriously only gotten that one? Yeah, she's only gotten that one stem that increased the entire game so far. Shit. I know I haven't used Meebo's magic at all, but it's because, uh, that 103 doesn't go far. It really doesn't. Especially when, uh, your cure spell is level 7. Hmm. Why did Furion's HP go up? Oh, I guess he did take a pretty big hit there. HP. Okay. Not looking so good, but... I think I will use this here now. Wow. I used one Kiraga. And that healed the entire team. Yeah, Paul is a noble rogue. Uh, it's... He's not really brought up a whole lot. I think if I actually ended up talking to the NPCs a little bit more, we would have we would have learned a little bit more about him. And actually, if we'd have went and talked to Yosef, we'd have found out about uh, his kidnapped daughter. And why he wouldn't talk to us. Well, we wouldn't have found out about Nelly, but he would have... Um, refused to talk to us. He would react to Wild Rose, and... but he would be completely tight-lipped about the Mithril. But, uh, that Fire Tone... I'm gonna give that to Guy. And of course... Oh, that's just peachy. I don't want the soldier to attack if I can... If I can... Oh. Well, now I don't have a choice. Since I've got Thunder 3, I'm really going to put off using my using much more of Guy's magic. What am I doing? Shit. Unintentional grinding. Ow. Yeah, 
totally outworthy. Why is Maria whiffing with her fucking sword so much? Hey boys again, haven't seen you in a while. Holy shit, how have you been, buddy? I figured you'd swing around now that I'm not playing a Pokemon game, right? <laughs> what does go? Damage is the only one. Not exactly useful right now, but okay. Really, just uh, I'm not sure when you left, so. <laughs> well, it's good to have someone around that, uh, here for a good shit post. I mean, granted, yeah, we got fucking Moon City and Retro here that are. Usually long for the ride. Three stamina, nice. Oh, nice. Fury not getting HP up? Guess not. But if I know. Uh, he's carrying heals. He's not really carrying much of the team. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bear. Is this yeah, this is the enemy I'm thinking of this. Shit. I don't want to do it. No, 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 I don't want to cast that on him. Oh. oh. Suppose I can just fish for crits. Uh, their elemental weakness is magic. And that wasn't even worth the two MP I fucking spent on that. There's nothing wrong with that, buddy. Now I'm actually planning on doing most of the uh, main Final Fantasy series by some point. So, you know, maybe I'll play one of them that you want to pick up and play it yourself. Yes, you really have missed out. Final Fantasy is an amazing series. Rated pretty much exactly where it uh, deserves to be rated. Mm, uh, plus or minus a few of the games. I mean, they're all good, but, but on the other hand, some of them are a little more overrated than others. <coughs> Seven. <coughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh, hey, there's our boss. I have yet to play 15. I've watched my roommate and my brother play it, but I've never actually played it myself. I mean, well, the thing is, Blazekin, is um, I'm not going to be doing them all in a fucking row. I'm going to be splitting them up like I'm doing with the Pokemon games right now. It's like I just recently finished Emerald for Circuit 2, because I'm... It's been a while since you've been here, so I'm not sure if you if you're privy to the fact that I'm going through the uh, Gen 1 to 5.5 games again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm doing this in one other game to, uh, 
break it open a little bit before going to platinum. Again. Uh, that's one of the things I'm hoping to uh, do soon is um, upgrade my PC a little bit, but right now money's a little tight, so that's not exactly on the docket right now. Um, uh, probably at some... Oh, a teleport tone. But it's a trap chest. With a land turtle. We are definitely going to use magic here. I think it's weak to ice? Yup. <laughs> Well, you like turtles? Well, I just murdered your friend. <laughs> um, I actually kind of lost track of where I was going, but um, I know there's a Gen 6 Pokemon randomizer, but it's just garbage. Like all, it wants to, all, all the randomizer wants to do is just set things to whale ward's growth rate and like, fucking reduce the amount of experience given per fucking kill. It's like, fucking why? That's not fun, that's not engaging. Hit tickles. Oh! Well, thank you for the host, Rick. I'm guessing that's an auto host, or maybe you just had a bit of a slow stream. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Oh, yeah. Gotta love that Final Fantasy. Uh, how are we doing on the HP? Probably do. And... Am I strong enough to take this guy on? Well, considering how dying is going to kick me back to the fucking main menu. <laughs> Rebels. Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you're right. My mithril blade straight through your heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see that ambush was a nice 34 damage to Maria's face. Uh, if you... There's a button underneath the, um... The broadcast window. Uh, it will, if you click that, it will should give you a drop down for an auto host. Uh, the sergeant is a bit of a bitch because he hits like a fucking truck. But he's nothing compared to our magic. I say as I do hit this dude. Yeah, that's my broadsword not doing uh, Ouch. I don't think he can. But he can hit like a fucking truck, though. Uh, uh, we're... Not too far in. This is still... Super early in the game, and that was a bad choice of cure. Shit. I'm not too familiar with mobile Twitch, so I'm not sure. But if you're, if when you get back on your PC, you should be able to set something like that up on. Oh, damn. Wow, she actually managed to do two damage. Oh, maybe I should, uh. 
Ah, oh, I'm not spreading my spell. Oh, man. Oh, 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 just enough mana left to kill this fucker. <laughs> Ooh, and his MP went up. Nice. If you notice, he got a ton of fucking magic levels. Holy shit. If it all came from the chest. And now let's see what the fucking teleport spell does. Yeah! That cuts your HP bad. It's okay. Uh, stealing isn't a thing in this game. Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh, shit. I have no choice but to attack these things physically. Or they can just run away because I'm way overpowered. The bees! Ah! <laughs> eh. Well, I mean, to each their own. I mean, I basically live on my PC, so you know, if I didn't have it, I'd probably be a little lost. How much money do I have? Four thousand. Holy shit. Oh, upgrading mine's not gonna be cheap either. I think I might be further ahead to just buy all new fucking parts, build a new thing. Though that's not exactly a two or three thousand dollar investment that I'm able to make right now. Uh, RCA tablet, yeah. I have an RCA tablet. Thing's a piece of junk though. Reduce the cost by two gill no thanks. Well, I've, I've been all right there, boys. And I'm uh, working a new job now. Actually, um, as of well, Friday, I guess technically, I guess it's Sunday now since it's midnight where I'm at. Uh, I quit my job at BK, so now I'm working for my buddy's dad. Helping him with prep work in the kitchen. Working at a pizza place now. So I guess you could say I'm back in the comfort zone. Maria's okay. MP is now 20. That's not terrible. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe with the. Mobile department, Apple, I would concede is better. But in terms of the computer end of it, nah. Nah. Huh. I should actually probably try to find Yosef and see if he'll thank me, even though I never actually. Nope, that's the sanctuary. That's not Yosef's house. save up for is a new phone, because uh, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S3. Yeah, the old thing. And it 
feels like the thing's falling apart. Like I actually charged it before I went back into work tonight. And I used it very little in the past seven hours, and I'm down to 50% battery. I, I don't know. I think I'm... I think Walmart has a, a phone available for like 600 bucks. So I'm going to aim for that, even though that's going to be saving for like two or three months. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even really sure how old you are. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, not that it's really any of my business, but I, know, I just, I don't know what I really want for. Oh, 19. I don't think it's been. A year and a half since you've been around. But, I don't know, it could have been. Use HP went up. Not broken 5,000 5, go yet. Oh, shit, what am I... Oh, okay, it would help if I was actually holding the select button. So I guess your name's a bit of a misnomer now, huh? These sprinters really like me. Almost two hours now, and Maria's still under freaking 108 HP. A couple months ago? Eh, well. Was it getting too expensive, or <laughs> did you just not want to do it anymore? <laughs> wow, he's doing 62 damage with a basic staff. What the fuck? I know I don't want to. I don't want to kick him out of the team yet, because that's the next thing that he's gonna do. But um, what we do here is come over to the old man here in the weapon shop, show him the mithril. Oh. Six years is a long time to be smoking weed. But, you know, if you... If you're off it long enough, your memory will start coming back. Okay, we, we definitely want two Mithril Swords. Let's buy a Mithril Mace. Holy shit. someone your age, Rick, I'd say I don't know, try fast food. I mean, I just quit a fast food job and it's shitty, but hey it's it. We'll get to something. Can I buy mithril armor yet? And no, oh, there goes the frame rate again. Whoa, with the sound pop. What the fuck? Yep. Let's see. Do you want 
three mithril shields. from friends or your parents to work, like a lot of the kids that I worked with at BK, you know, I mean, sure, you'd only get like 10 hours a week minimum wage, assuming you live here in the United States, you know, you'd probably buy a decent iPad in probably about a month or two. I'm working for a small business right now, I mean, it's me, the owner, his son, his daughter, his ex-wife, two high school kids right now. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, let's see what I can sell for my inventory. Uh I don't need the bronze gear anymore. Buy a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean, I'm just trying to help you out, bud. I mean, granted, I'm just some random jackass on the internet, so you know, for what that's not worth. Yeah, you see how I gave him two staves? I, I don't like doing that. Also, what... Did, did I seriously have him running that dungeon in only a copper quiris? Are you fucking kidding me? Take it. Well, you gotta work toward it, and cars aren't cheap, dude, so keep that in mind. Oh boy, there was some chirping. Mithril axe. And I can afford it. How about that shit? If you move it, you know, closer to where you're able to work, then yeah, it'll be a hell of a lot easier to get there. Though, where I'm at, I'm about a mile and a half away from Burger King, which was not fun, especially when going to work was uphill. That shit sucked, guys. 
actually gonna buy um, and we'll uh, Mythical Shield. Now you watch. Oh wow, it did. I actually kind of expected it to uh, kick the Mythical Shield off and put the staff back on. idea. Because, uh, I'm practically naked in terms of defense. But if I pop in here to the end, Good money from the captains if I can manage to kill one. Especially when you consider some of the shit that the guys drop. Okay, I think they dropped the flame bow, which is like one of the honestly one of the next to highest strength bows in the game. targeted in a while. But because I can't hard save. Let's see what happens here. Replicas! <laughs> but then again, all he's wearing is the cop Aquarius. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, no. I, I can't do anything against, against these guys yet. It is possible to kill them, though. And soon, actually. Take a little bit of grinding. And the best way to grind actually is, uh, as stupid as it sounds, against your own party members. Because your stats, will, your weapon skills will grow uh, based on the targets that you're hitting. And you are considered a rank 16 target which basically guarantees ranking up after a while. I mean, with the Cop Aquarius, yeah, it pretty much is. But that was a normal hit doing 450 damage, and Furion's in full Mithril right now. Well, not full Mithril, but... Pretty much, yeah. Though that typically isn't a bad idea, isn't a good idea at this point in the game, because after a while enemies will just get cold feet and run away. Alrighty, catch you later, Rick. Uh, he did, but you know he tends to just lurk and then uh, you know, go do his own thing. I think tonight he's doing, um, Pokemon Snap, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I really think I 
think I should go back to my old idea of uh, money grinding at Summit Falls. I need to heal pretty bad. I don't think they are. I mean, it is a fantasy video game, so they could be. Look at Beedrill. Beedrill's fucking huge. Hey, Maria finally broke 100 HP. Took her a while. So, is her stamina seriously only 7? how fast you were going. There you go, Trap. The airship was overhead and you just got attacked. Hit it with two cards. Fucking A. Uh, I kind of got to the point where I wanted to, and really all I'm doing is money grinding now. Honestly, I'm just going to leave it up to you guys. You want to watch me grind for a little bit? We'll chat just a bit, or... Gyarados is a freaking Chinese dragon, what do you expect? I'm kind of fond of uh, Decidueye. Yeah, I used it in my original Sun playthrough. It's pretty good. It's kind of disappointed by Incineroar with my uh, stream team. 
Oh man, the cinema was great. I'm like, the cinema kind of sucks. Also, I mean, yeah, Layton's cute, but you get a fucking ranger owl. There's not the love about fucking Decidueye. Ever got to level 100? Dang. I remember my Grungle and Y was the first one that I got in the Gen 6 game to level 100. Maria's got fire. Maria? Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, I never went out of my way to shiny hunt, although I did tend to bend my Nuzlocke rules whenever I found one in my Nuzlocks. Like the uh, shiny Cubone I found at the end of Silver. Got that thing and then immediately basically sacrificed them to fucking not red. <laughs> Whoops. the patience for it. He's not even that great. Yeah, it's yellow. I don't even remember what shiny, what, uh, shiny Butterfree looks like. I think shiny Metapod's red? Ow. Oh, the fucking Pimp Night video. That's crazy. I think the last time I found a shiny in any of the official games was Black 2. I ran into a shiny Golark on uh, Victory Road. I was actually on my way to End's Castle. We should get big groups of goblin guards like that. A little more. Uh, one of the first shinies I ever that I ever got in my personal runs was well that wasn't the Lake of Rage Gyarados was a shiny Tyro from the uh, breeder couple in um, Crystal. They give you the uh, egg that hatches into a random baby Pokemon, and it hatched the Tyro. I'm like, why is this thing blue? Isn't it normally red? And then I looked at the stats, and I'm like, oh, hey! I actually think that was my first ever file of Pokemon Crystal. Same crystal file. I ran into a shiny Ponita at uh, Mount Silver. And then uh, I 
think I also ran into a shiny Graveler that exploded on me. I mean, I love Wigglytuff, but I hate friendship-based evolutions. They're actually kind of shitty, if you ask me. I think I should have enough gill to uh, go grab the rest of the mithril armor. Yeah, they are. It's like female only Pokemon like Miltank and Jinx are actually not allowed to be shiny. Um in Gale of Darkness there is. Well, it's not really so much a an alternative because it's still a necessity, but your Eevee starts at such a high friendship level that it basically evolves into Espeon or Umbreon immediately anyway. Espeon's move pool in Gen 3, if you waited until after Eevee learned Bite, is actually pretty good. Like he gave it Bite, Psy Beam, a couple other attacks. If only Shadow Ball had been uh, special at that point. Then you would have had something fucking terrifying to deal with. Yeah, it's a shame Flareon sucks though. Yeah, it doesn't get bite on, on its own. You have to... If you're in Crystal Version, you have to wait till, like, level 29 for Eevee to learn Bite and then evolve into Despion, and then it'll try to learn Swift at the same level. So if you can coincide them both, I mean, Swift's not the greatest attack on Espeon given, you know, the 65 went into its physical attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. But anything that uses uh, double team deserves to get kicked in the nuts with a shovel across the face. Yes, I realize it doesn't make any sense, but neither does using double team. Double team is garbage. It's ba that basically turns the fucking battle into RNG in a block. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too bad Bite sucks in uh, Crystal Version on Crystal. Its primary offense is physical. Which, of course, means it can make use of Sludge Bomb. Not as good as his physical, though. No, he doesn't have a buddy shop yet. Probably doesn't ever. He can't? I thought it could.
Quagsire kind of sucks, though. Don't get me wrong, I love using Quagsire. But, you know, I'll admit, he kind of sucks. So, let's find Mithril Helm. Three Mithril Armors, and that's all my money gone. Gen 1 fucking amnesia kinda sucks. We'll keep a hold of that that uh, normal staff. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop a save state here real quick. Go talk to Hilda real quick. I should be good without Mithril Gloves on the party. Let's go after Bosk, and then, um... Before the stream tomorrow, I'll try to figure out what's going on. <sighs> and the last time I tried to play competitive on Showdown was Gen 6. And I used a... Actually, I'm trying to think. I do know I used the Sylveon Cleric with uh, Pixelate Hyper Voice as its um, offensive move. Um, I, don't know, I tend to like use some weird shit, like um, the Sword Power from Fable. That's fun. And I kind of want to try a um, an Echoed Voice team because I've been watching uh, Fufu. You're familiar with him. Because as long as Echoed Voice goes off, the chain continues. Uh, the Pokemon I tend to try to use a lot is Honchkrow. Uh, as dumb as that sounds. But ever since it was introduced in Gen 4, I've always just kind of liked it. Uh, I also like Togekiss quite a bit back in Gen 4, but after its uh, Paraflinch set, uh, you know, basically got made unusable. Oracorio eh, is obnoxious. At least the yellow one. Because if you remember fucking... Uh, back during the stream, every time the fucking thing would use growl, it's like, oh my god, you cry is so annoying, shut the fuck up. Revelation Dance uh, attacks with the primary uh, primary uh, type. Like electric Fire Psychic Ghost, I think is the fourth one. Uh, it's actually possible to make it typeless if you um, if you finagle it enough. I 
there's nothing in here. I don't think there's even anything in the weapon shop for me. Shadow not too long ago over Wi-Fi, but it was just one of those points of, eh, I'm not interested in playing Pokemon all that much anymore, so fuck it. Maybe? And hey, I just realized I never healed. don't watch all that much anime, so I can't really say I do. As disappointing as that may sound. So there's plenty of, oh, your wife was trash, <laughs> shit that goes around. We just got Thunder 3 now. the other night uh, listening to Jay uh, play 4, 4v4 on uh, Overwatch and I'm like, eh. Oh, 
I'm gonna try to get Furion's MP up a little bit. Probably shouldn't do it by leveling up my cure spell. MP. Uh, to be fair, Valve doesn't give him any fucks about anything these days. And shit, just look at how they're just treating Steam in general. They're practically twisting and fucking asset flipping shit. Wow, did I just get two MP ups in once? Damn! It's about time he's caught up. Which means. Which is funny because he's only used Cure. It's the only spell he knows. The fact that uh, Halfway 3 doesn't exist and never will. Let's see if I can fish for a third one. Jinx doesn't appear at night, though. But then again, in the Crystal version, it turns to day. It turns to morning. What? then that's okay, but kind of sucks he won't be able to make it, though. But I'm not going to hold it against him. Mean, what kind of person would that make me if it did? I could probably reduce the game volume a little bit now. volume on the emulator. Of course, and then... Well, that was a dead end anyway. I'm an idiot. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't have... 
have any other choice but to attack physically with Fury. I'm just gonna try for me. I don't think I have a boss here in the boss cave, so I should be okay. Just uh. It was the entire fucking vanguard in the end of him. Use Blizzard's three. So all my important spells are level three now. Why am I missing? potions and I've not bought a single one of them. who the Dark Knight was. But I'm not going to spoil it. Well, shit. Fishing mailed. But they gave me a boarding pass to get on the ship anyway. Bunch of dankuses. And hey, a free teleport. I spoiled a pretty big thing for myself for Xenoblade Chronicles as well. Whoops. Uh, well, one of the things I spoiled for myself, because I didn't put two and two together when it happened, was uh, one of the party members. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, hey, that should give me my, uh, never mind. Everything's gonna fucking run from me. Oh, don't do that. It's not a good idea at this point in the game right now. Fire! to 1500 gil before I make it back to Altair. I'll be set. Though, before I cut the stream for the night, I'm gonna make sure that I can at least try to take on one of the captains, because... Probably be a fun idea. I mean, I should have some decent damage mitigation with my shield skills being... Well, oh. 
Why is Furion's level 4? And the other one's not. Curious. Minu is a guy. He is a white wizard. Are we certain he's male at least? Well, he's basically a priest, so you know. Okay, party's HP. I was about to say, don't expect Maria's HP to climb very high before I start exploiting the game. So she's not built to be hit a whole lot, so she doesn't have to gain very much HP. Oh, cool. I hit my uh, money threshold. Yeah, before I move on, I definitely want to make sure, because I'm pretty sure I can buy a better staff with the sequence break I can pull off. Thing is, it's a sequence break that you basically have to save scum to do. Because what you, what you end up doing is you go to the southwest and head to Mesidia. Actually, let you get a hold of, I think, Holy? Early? Oh. The town's already been attacked. Lovely. But we don't want to go talk to the princess yet. back up to Gatria. Go up the river because I don't feel like dealing with a freaking random encounter every freaking half a step. And Gatria has been attacked. No, it would help if I was pressing the right button, wouldn't it? I'm missing any HP. Missing enough to drop the price by about two thirds. Safe state here. Okay, the bow's not doing a whole hell of a lot of damage. Ouch. Oh, of course, the one person that it fucking mattered on. Mm. 
that's the problem with the magic system in this game. Your white magic can miss. And he's dead. That is not who I wanted to use that on. Oh. Yeah, because my, my intended target is dead. And he's dead. Alright, catch you later. I just want this as a proof of concept. Can I kill these fuckers? No, not yet. But I think what I might do is uh, take a little bit of time, see if I can figure out what's going on with my saving situation, and maybe do a little bit more money grinding. Buy a couple spells, upgrade, you know, get a couple more stack growths, see if I can kill those guys, and then, uh, you know, show you what I can do with them. So, this seems like a good place to stop, so, I think Squid's, yeah, Squid's live right now, playing Snap, so I think I'm gonna ship you guys over there. So, yeah. Thanks for coming out, guys. Just need to find my chat bot here. So let's go with... A raid for Squidbird here. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna bounce. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for coming out.